like a dollar head. Oh. Good morning, Aquinas. Today we will start our assembly like we do with all things, with prayer. So at this time, please stand for the morning prayer and pledge. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, teach me to trust in you and the ways you are calling me. Help me to have confidence in your guidance and direction. Turn my life into a powerful demonstration of what trust in God looks like. Amen. For healing in our community and our world, for our faithful departed, and for all those intentions we hold in our hearts, and those written in our book of intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please join me in the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Thomas Aquinas, pray for us. St. Basil, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Good morning, Aquinas. How are all you t- uh, th- uh, this wonderful morning? Uh, welcome to the Way Too Early Early Show with Lucas Sharon and Kenzie Murphy. As you can see, we uh, finally found room in the budget for a, a coffee mug, uh, but we can't fill it with anything yet, so we're getting there. Anyway, we have a great show planned for you today, so let's get right into it. Kenzie, would you like to tell us a bit about the recent successes in sports? Of course. So Aquinas had many sex- successes over the past week in football, volleyball, tennis, girls' soccer, and boys' soccer. The girls' Aquinas modified soccer team beat their Mercy counterparts at home on Friday by six goals to three. The AQ goals were scored by Viviana Oliveri, Bella Murator, Stella Carangelo, Leah Quinlan, and Savannah Sweet, a goal each. Congrats to the girls' modified soccer team who are now 4-0 and for the season. Thanks, Kenzie. All right, speaking of sports, we have a couple upcoming sports events this week. Tonight is the senior night for girls' tennis. The theme for that event is neon. This Wednesday is the senior night for girls' soccer. The theme for that event is maroon and white. Finally, the AQ football team has a game this Friday, and the theme for that game is pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Now we wanted to bring back an old tradition of shouting out people who have their birthday this week. So today's birthday are Kyler Ferguson, Bowden, Mazuik, Abigail May, Connor Rumchuk, and Madison Rogers. Tomorrow, birthdays include Ryan Fatakaria, Ireland Carnaldo, Jordan Robertson, Jeffrey St. John, and Michael St. John. On Wednesday, Micah Benjamin Castle and Mia Perno share a birthday, and on Thursday, Marcus Davila, Michael Fahori, and Mason Phillips celebrate theirs. Finally, on Friday is Anthony Boffman, Billy Campbell, and Cleese Kirkland. Make sure to wish all these people happy birthday if you see them. Now, before we get into Spirit Week announcements, we want to bring up a special guest. Here's Miss Easton to talk about Art Club. How's it going, Miss Easton? Good. How are you guys? Good. Good, good morning. So Art Club, our, ne- our second meeting is tomorrow after school, so Tuesdays from 3 to 4, AC 22. We will be getting into um, some clay, so we're going to be making pumpkins and ghosts. And then for those people that want to draw, Inktober is our current challenge. Um, I have to cap off the clay, so anyone interested must show up tomorrow and let me know that they want to sculpt. And that's that. All right, great. Thank you, Thank you so much. All right, now for the announcements everyone's been waiting for, Spirit Week announcements. Student Council has organized a wonderful Spirit Week for you guys this year, and we think everyone is going to have a lot of fun. So here is the schedule for the week. Friday, October 1st, we will have Maroon and White Day. That's this Friday. Sunday, October 3rd, there is the Powder Puff game at 6. Monday, October 4th, is Hero vs. Villain Day. Tuesday, October 5th, Twin vs. Mismatch Day. 
Wednesday, October 6th is theme day. Thursday, October 7th is class color day and we have a pep rally at the end of the day. On Friday, October 8th, there is the homecoming game and we have no school that day. And then on Saturday, October 9th is the homecoming dance from six to nine. So listen carefully for your theme for theme day and this is by class. So sixth grade is USA, seventh pajamas, eighth favorite movie or TV character, ninth animals, 10th Western, 11th Disney, 12th Celebrities. And then the order for class colors of right now is 6th purple, 7th green, 8th white, 9th blue, 10th red, 11th pink, 12th black. For dress downs, you are not allowed to bring any weapons or dangerous props in and keep your costumes appropriate. All right, thanks, Kenzie. Now, the Powder Puff game is on October 3rd at 6. If you would still like to sign up, please email Kiara Nakugwa by Friday. Speaking of sign-ups, we need people to sign up for pep rally activities. The pep rally activities this year include teacher versus student dodgeball, musical chairs, tug of war, chicken toss, and pie face. Seniors, if you would like to participate in teacher versus student dodgeball, please respond to the message I sent you on Ensuite by this Friday. For musical chairs, chicken toss, and tug of war, students can sign up for these activities at their lunches. There will be a student government representative at each lunch this week, so see them to sign up. It is first come, first serve, however, so act quick. As for pie face, our council will be deciding what teachers we want to see pied in the face, so teachers, just pray it isn't you. Sign-ups for pep rally activities are due this Friday. Homecoming is on Saturday, October 9th from 6 to 9 p.m. The theme for the dance is Met Gala, and it is semi-formal, but you can wear something as formal as you want. I know Lucas and I are going to be all out. There will be long games, food, and music, all out on the stadium under the tent. $5 tickets will be sold at each lunch period this week at the same table with the pep rally signups. Homecoming court is also happening this year, and ballots for those candidates will be going out soon, so stay tuned for that. Attention, we will also be having another $5 collection this Friday for the holiday dress downs. This includes Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, the Friday before the Super Bowl, St. Thomas Aquinas Day, and Cinco de Mayo. This is your last chance to get your money in. Student government representatives will come around Friday to collect your money. All right, great. Thank you, Kenzie. Uh, just a quick reminder that the club fair will be happening during lunch periods tomorrow. Uh, you should go to that to discover new interests and try something outside of the classroom. And so I look forward to seeing you all there. Anyway, enough of us talking. We've been rambling for too long now. Uh, let's call Mrs. Barber up to the stage. She'd like to tell us a bit about an upcoming costume sale. How's it going, Ms. Barber? Thank you. Uh, this Friday, we are going to be selling some old costumes from our costume room in advance of Spirit Week and Homecoming and Halloween. So if you are looking for a thrifty way to put together a costume for any of those things, stop by the Art Center this Friday during your lunch period, and you can get stuff for thrift store prices. We're going to be starting at a dollar. I don't think anything's going for over $10. So bring cash, we're not taking credit cards or anything. And uh, you can pick up something really fun to wear, something dramatic, uh, something in the right color, something um, Disney inspired or villain inspired. Um, and uh, even things for homecoming, if you wanna go over the top and channel your inner Rihanna for the Met Gala, um, you can find something uh, appropriately dramatic and inspiring for that. So stop by and pick up uh, something fantastic at a, a basement uh, price. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. All right, uh, we have one last guest and then we'll get you all out of here. So here is Mrs. Melton to talk about women's leadership. How's it going, Ms. Melton? Good morning. Um, for those of you who don't know me that are new students, my name is Mrs. Melton. I'm the librarian. I'm also the director for women's leadership. If you're a sophomore or a junior that would like to join women's leadership, come to the club fair on Tuesday and it's during lunches. We'll have a table there. There's some paperwork to do. If you're returning a uh, junior or senior, you still need to fill out paperwork too. So we want you to come and fill out that paperwork pick it up and the theme for this year is networking and communication and we'll be having some uh, guest alumni speakers coming about networking and about um, jobs 
how to interview and what ex behavior is expected at jobs. So come see us. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, it looks like we're just about wrapping up. So if you want to be interviewed on Kumbaya, talk to me or Lucas to be able to talk about sports, clubs, events, or anything else. We do plan on doing individual teacher spotlights and interviews in the near future, so stay tuned for that. All right, that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's broadcast of the Way Too Early Early Show with Lucas Sharon and Kenzie Murphy. See you next week.